Grand Rising family, today is going to be a very quick video because as you can see it's hot, it's cool to brown out here. I just want to show you very quickly a garden update. I haven't been posting many, um, but my garden has been doing very well. So I just want to show you guys what's going on with it. Okay, so starting off, um, I do have two strawberry... Oh my God. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking the sun. I do have two strawberry plants right here. Um, I brought the Everberry strawberries. I didn't start these from seeds. I just went to the store and I just brought some, um, just some plants and I put them in these containers that I purchased from the dollar store. This one doesn't have any uh, fruits on it, but I think this one, this one has a lot. Somebody has been eating my strawberries too. Oh, you can't see. Somebody has been, some sort of animal or something has been eating my strawberries too. I haven't really been like that upset about it just because uh, the plants, they, because the plants, they haven't been giving me a whole lot of fruit, like not enough like to fill a container or sustain myself. So I've kind of just been like using this opportunity as like a learning point. So I haven't really been that upset that uh, some, probably some squirrels or something have been eating them. But as you can see, they produce these uh, white flowers and that's what the strawberries grow from. This one look good, but these other two look deformed. I'm scared to eat them. I think this one ready. I also have um, a bell pepper plant. When I first started out, um, obviously I had three bell pepper plants. Two of them died and this one survived. Look at my little babies. I just planted my first plant. So I don't know what happened to my bell pepper plants, but like they completely died. Like they just completely wilted. And I actually have a bell pepper on it. You can see it, it's right here. It's still growing, so I haven't picked or anything yet. And I believe when it's ripe, it's supposed to turn red. Um, so far, this is the only bell pepper I have gotten. I had some other flowers on here, but it kind of died and fell off. I'm not sure why. Guys, look, my bell pepper plant is doing so good. It's got flowers and stuff on it. You wanna see that? Okay, okay. I also have three, three zucchini plants. The other one is right here. This one is the biggest. I haven't um, received any fruit from either, uh, either three of them, but these um, were smaller. They were much smaller. These two are much smaller. And I gave them some fertilizer and they kind of like shot up overnight. So, look like they have would look like would be some zucchinis growing but i think my problem is i don't have a lot of bees here so my like my fruits and flowers aren't being pollinated so i think that's why i haven't gotten any zucchinis yet um right here i have three very tall cherry tomato plants um i have some bamboo sticks that i put in there to uh to stake my plants because otherwise they'll just fall over a quick update my tomato plants are growing extremely well oh. however they started to lean over yeah they started to lean over instead of growing straight up yes you know they're just heavy and then like it'd be windy sometimes so i brought these tomato cages right here that i'm gonna put Actually, in them to help them the um, tomato. to help them stand so up and that way they'll grow up straighter. So that's why I have my tomato cages. I have my tomato cages in my containers, but because my plants were probably eating like this, they were like, oh, so they started to seem like they started to grow down. So I'm gonna use this. Um, supposed to be some sort of 
flexible tie and I'm gonna tie it around my plants so they can start growing upwards again. I brought this from the dollar store and I'm just gonna use some scissors to cut it and like tie it into the tomato can. Also, you see that the bottom of them are very bare. I pruned them just because the bottom leaves tend to uh, acquire disease very quickly and easily. And it can spread to the rest of the plants. Actually, I forgot to take a picture, but when I pruned them, you know how like you've never done something before, so you kind of just like go overboard, or like if you're a woman and you trim your hair, you know, like you'll just trim it off a little and then like you'll just kind of keep going, and like before you know it, you bald. That's kind of what I did to my plants, but they grew back really well. Um, I have a lot of these yellow flowers on them, that's what your tomatoes are gonna grow from. I have a lot of them, but a lot of them haven't necessarily been turning into tomatoes. I have this this one tomato right here. I think each plant has at least one tomato on it. This one, this is a tomato right there. But I have harvested uh, multiple cherry tomatoes from all my plants. Was this whole thing supposed to come out? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna insert some clips just because I have been posting them on Instagram but I haven't been posting them on YouTube. So I have footage that I just never uploaded. I'm just gonna put this all in one video. I also have three Roma tomato plants here as well. I haven't bared any fruit from them. Um, but I did plant them after my cherry tomato plant, so I'm just assuming they just need a little bit more time. Um, but they also do have a lot of yellow flowers on them, which is what your tomatoes will grow from. I have three cucumber plants right here. Um, I think what most people do, they'll buy a trellis. I guess you don't have to do that, but some people have problem with uh, space in their garden. Maybe they don't have like a big backyard or anything. So they'll have a trellis and then they'll let the vines of the cucumber plant climb up the trellis. But I just kind of never bought one. So they grew so long and they just flopped over. And I kind of just left them because that's normally how they grow. If you would put them in the ground, there would be a, just a bunch of vines. And I'm going to insert the clip of that. I have gotten one cucumber. I know one doesn't sound like a lot, but... I didn't even know the cucumber was growing and I just kind of looked down one day and it was like bam like right there and it was a really big size and I was so excited so um oh look oh my god it's a whole cucumber I don't even know where it came from I literally just saw it today I've never seen it until today and it's a whole it's a whole cucumber the because of the way the vines are like it's easy for you to not even see anything under there but they have a bunch of these yellow flowers which is where your cucumbers will grow from you have male and female flowers um and i, I honestly think my problem with not getting a lot of fruit is just the pollination i need more bees to carry the pollination from um, from the male flowers to the female flowers but look this one looks like it's a little bell pepper glowing right here if you can see this right here it's like a little I mean I'm sorry bell pepper it looks like a cucumber is growing from the base but yes that is my very quick update I am going to insert some clips because I have been able to harvest a cucumber like I said um, I harvested um, some strawberries 
and um, a bunch of cherry tomatoes as well so I'm gonna insert clips of those and that's pretty much it um, it's really not that hard to start a garden at all and it's really to me it's really easy to take care of them like I said the cucumber pop up nowhere and I don't really do anything for my plants besides water them on a daily basis because it's really hot in Louisiana like that's why I didn't really want to make a long video out here because I'm sweating and I'm only been out here for like 10 minutes um what else I mean yeah that's it I'm not really an expert this is my first time having a garden it's my first time growing all these plants and I've been able to bear fruit so don't be scared to go out there and you know grow your own plants um but as as the season goes on and I'm able to get more fruit and things like that I'll post another update it just may not I may not post an update like every month or something just like every now and then but if you like this video make sure you comment like and subscribe if you have any questions below you can ask them I'll try my best to answer but like I said I'm not an expert but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I'll see you in my next one bye